gourmet cooks out there and welcome back to another video with glamorous gems gourmet recipes so what's on the menu today is chicken salad this is a perfect recipe for an afternoon snack so we're going to go ahead and jump into the ingredients so i have some two cans of chicken breast you can also substitute with rotisserie chicken four eggs minced garlic sweet and dill relish yellow mustard, onion garlic powder, seasoned salt, Old Bay, Tony Chacker's Creole seasoning, black pepper, and paprika to color. So let's go ahead and jump into the recipe. So what I've done here is I've brought some water to a boil. I'm gonna add it in my eggs. And you want to make sure that you don't crack the eggs in the water. I'm very good about doing that. So yeah, I normally let my eggs boil for about maybe 10 to 15 minutes. And then once it's done, um, I'll come back and show you how we put that in with the salad. In a clean bowl, you wanna go ahead and add in your two cans of your chicken. And you wanna go ahead and make sure you drain out all of that um, juice that comes with it. So now what I'm doing is I'm just gonna go ahead and take a fork and I want to um, just smash everything down and really give it like a nice um, shredded kind of feel. Um, so again, you know, if you want to substitute this with like a rotisserie chicken, you definitely can do that. But I'm just making sure that I reduce all of the lumps out of here and just getting it nicely, nice and finely shredded. And then once that's done, we're going to go ahead and start adding in our seasoning. So, so the first thing I'm going to do is add in a half a teaspoon of minced garlic. And I forgot to mention that um, I'm going to also be adding in some sugar. So I'm going to add in one tablespoon of sugar. And then the next thing you'll add in is two tablespoons of um, sweet relish. And then we're also going to add in two tablespoons of dill relish. And then you'll add in one tablespoon of mustard. And then you'll go ahead and add in your seasonings, which is the onion powder, garlic powder, Old Bay, your um, seasoned salt, your um, black pepper. You have your Tony Chacker's um, Creole seasoning. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my mayo and I'm just gonna do a dollop of mayo. Of course, I use none other than Hellman's is the best kind for this recipe. And then we'll just go ahead and mix everything around. So my eggs have boiled for about 15 minutes and I went ahead and removed all of the hot boiling water out of there and transferred some cool water in there just to go ahead and crack the shell open and get it pre prepared for the salad. So a lot of people, what they do is they take a knife and they just cut through the shell. You can do that, but for me personally, I've just had a bad experience with that. So um, this is how I prefer to do it. So the cold water actually helps me not burn my hand when I'm actually removing the shell off of the egg. And once you, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory, but once you pretty much get those shells removed, you're gonna go ahead and just place it in a bowl separately. And then um, we'll go ahead and add it into our salad. All right, so once you have your eggs cut up, they should look just like this. I never cut up the egg yolks because I like to have a taste of that in the salad. So then um, once you do that, it, you basically will just go ahead and mix everything in. Um, you just want it to be evenly um, combined in there with the salad. And then I'm going to go ahead and garnish it with paprika just to give it a nice color. And then finally, we'll go ahead and plate it. So I'll be back in just a moment and I'll show you what I, how I plate it and how I like to eat it. So just stay tuned. Finished and completed chicken salad, then garnished it again with some paprika and then some parsley flakes on top. And if you don't know, this is best eaten with 
Ritz crackers. So the Ritz crackers that I prefer are either the toasted chips, like the sour cream and onion flavor that I'm showing you, or you can do original um, Ritz crackers. And of course, if you like videos like this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I post weekly on my page, so I definitely um, would love for you all to stay tuned. Um, and of course, I couldn't decide on which cracker to use, so I just played it both on there. And um, yeah, this is the finished recipe. So I hope that you all will enjoy this and um, definitely leave comments down below letting me know how it turns out for you. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.